Hello and welcome. We're going to work on making this. This is a login and sign up form and eventually we're going to hook it into a backend so we can actually do an authentication of a user. So here we'll get started by making this in React. Go to VS Code or whatever your code editor is. Going to make that full screen and I'm going to just do this on the desktop. So let me go over to Terminal new, and I'll just cd to my desktop, and here I am. And now we're going to run an npx command called create-react-app. Now everything you need to do this is in the notes below this video, so go ahead and grab anything you don't have, whether it be Node, whether it be React, or even an editor if you don't have one of those. But we're going to do npx create react app, and then we're going to name that app, and you can name it whatever you'd like, but I'm going to call it auth react mongo. All right, now we have created our project. So let's CD into our project. You'll see it comes right up here. The CD into auth react mongo and I'm in there. Now I can go ahead and start running this right away. I'm going to open the folder first though. So just open folder. And on the desktop, we have auth react mongo. That's what we just made. And I'm going to open that up. Now we could see on the left side here, we have the auth react mongo. We have our node modules and everything else we need. Let's get the terminal again. And we're just going to type yarn start. If this is what is on your screen, everything worked perfectly. Let's do a few more things for the setup. Uh, what we'll do is we don't need anything on this page here, any of the styling, anything on it at all. We wanna to get to a blank page. So I'm going to get rid of app test, app uh, index.css, logo SVG, service worker, and setup. Get rid of all of that, just delete them. Now that will crash our app and failed to compile, it did crash, that's what we wanted. And we can see that we're importing things that don't exist, like the logo, we got rid of that. We don't want anything on the page, so from the bottom div, go to the top div, get rid of all of that, and in there, just put a div for now, just so we don't get any red on the screen. We could save that, it still should not work. We have to go to index. Now take out your service worker, take out your CSS here, and let's take out the service worker down here as well. We'll leave it in strict mode, everything else is fine. All right, we are compiled successfully again, and we have a blank page. Now we're going to work on the CSS real quick to do a full reset in our app CSS file. What I want to do is command all and get rid of everything on the page. And we're going to do a reset now. So put an asterisk, that's the star, then comma, and then we want to do before and after. So star before, then comma, and then star after. Now in there, we're just going to reset the margin to zero. We'll reset the padding to zero. We'll change the box sizing to inherit. And we will do an overflow X of hidden. Now in HTML, we're going to change one thing. So just type in HTML. And this is a pretty simple change. We're just going to change the font size. Now the font size is usually at 16. We want to get it to 10 because we want to work in REM, which uses the font size in order to calculate itself. So if we're in REM and we want each unit of REM to be 10 pixels, we need to set 62.5% here. Because 62.5% of 16 equals 10. So do that, make sure you put your percent sign. Now after that, just go to the body and we will reset the box sizing here to border box. And we'll also do the font family I'm just going to do sans serif. We won't import any fonts for this. And now the final thing is a root. Now in the root, we can hold variables. I wanna hold two variables that we'll use in the project. Color, green, 
light. And that will be a hex code, so just put up your hashtag in 009619. And we're also going to have a color green dark. And that will also be a hex code, and the hex code is 0070A. Let's do one more here, uh, just to have it. I want to have color white, and that's simple. That one is just all Fs. And you know, let's do color black as well while we're here. Color black. So here we've defined the colors that we need in our project. Black is all zeros, six zeros. Here we define the colors that we need in our project to get us started, just so we're not redefining them every time we do a CSS file. We could bring in this variable, and I'll show you how to bring these variables in as we move forward. So save that up. We're all set up for the project now. So let's keep going from here. We can see what we're working with is a blank page here, and that's what we want. We want to make a new page in the SRC. So in SRC, make a folder. I'm going to call it auth page. This is going to be everything to do with our auth page. So in our auth page, we'll make a file. It'll be called auth.js. And let's get started with some React. Just import React. And let's also import fragment. So we have a named import and then a piece of it that we want to use. So make sure you put that in those brackets there for a fragment. And then that's from React. All right, so we're set there. Now we'll make our functional component. So const auth is the name of the component. And it's a fat arrow function, so just like that. And at the end of it, let's return this uh, export default auth. Okay, so we are exporting the auth already, and that's what we want to be doing. Uh, something went wrong right up here. Let me take a look. Oh, I see. Sorry about that. Let me create that again, just so we see the fat arrow function one more time. Const auth equals empty arrow and there's our function. And that's what we wanted to write in the first place. All we're going to do here is return something on a page. And I'm going to return a div. And in there, I'm going to write auth page. Now, save that. We're going to bring that into our app. So in app, we're going to import. And the name of the page is auth from, and then we need to get to it. So dot slash, we'll go to our auth page folder and auth. Now we're in. So all we need to do here is return auth. All right, so we're in our app and we are returning auth page. So we made it past the first stage here. We're going to get all the way to here where we have this nice form for login and sign up. Just follow me to the next video where we get started designing this form. Great job on this one and I'll see you on the next one.